Well, we're at our buddy Benjamin's shop. He's been kind enough to to make us a couple plugs for Lucky to remove the starter. You can tell the really good trick. Um, like this is the diameter I want it to be. So I measured it a couple different times. I'm getting 1.808, and I could measure it on another. Sometimes it's good to measure it on something else, but you want to you want to use the same device to um, measure what you're, you know, like to measure this and that. You don't want to like try doing it because different ones will read differently, especially inside and outside measurements. So like if I were measuring the inside of this this bore here, I wouldn't just use this because this isn't going to be accurate to to that especially with one of these cheaper yeah. ones yeah. so what i would do is i would i would use a uh, telescoping that's how you measure the bore on a cylinder or something too and then this is what the cool thing about that is once i uh once i measure that you here around, don't you? And you, you sort of push it through and then i would measure snug and then I would measure this so I've transferred the measurement but I'm still measuring with this same oh, yeah, tool here 1.812 so that's the clearance is the difference between those two so like if I go back to this now and I measure this I got 1.808 right 1.808 now if I zero that here's the here's the cool thing I zero that and then I go and measure this what I'm going to get is it's four thousandths difference. Four thousandths difference. Whoa. You don't ever want to wear gloves when you're working on the lathe either. Yeah, yeah because it'll get, it'll get caught. caught. And, and the lathe, you know, the lathe doesn't, doesn't care. It'll pull you in and break, break your fingers or your face or your arm. If you ever want to get see something gross, check out uh, lathe accidents, you know, on YouTube. <laughs> That is not pretty. Well, a lot of times, too, what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to since I zeroed that on the 1.808, right? Mm -hmm. At the zero, I can measure this now, and I'll know how far I need to go to uh, to get to that diameter. And I'm not going to come anywhere near it, but it looks like half, uh, half a little, an inch. Well over half an inch. So mm -hmm. that's uh, that's a lot of thousands. <laughs> do is measure that well how the part was made you know True. and really what's cool is that you know you post all these pictures of things that you do and uh, usually the lathes that we see around shops hold that well they're huge the, this yeah. one is this one Swedish um, it's Austrian. 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 Yeah. Oh, man. And what I love about it is triumph. There's a lot of triumph. Yeah. Well, uh, however many thousands I think. Now, you don't want to go as heavy with an interrupted cut because interrupted cuts are less um, forgiving, you know, more, more likely to try to knock the, the work out of the truck or something. Take off there. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 